here's Steve Martin. for me tonight because, well, I've been very busy this week. I've uh, been working on a TV special, um, have a new record coming out, and, and I really didn't have time to work up a monologue. I thought I was, <clears throat> thought I was going to do it today, and I woke up and it was so hot, and, and I caught the flu a little bit, and I, the heat didn't bother me earlier in the week because I was wearing the latest fad frozen underwear. I ran out, and uh, consequently, I do not have a monologue. Um, I realize <clears throat> that I have a responsibility to come out here and make people laugh. And it's very embarrassing to be put in this position, and I <sighs> thought about it all day. <clears throat> and I realized I was growing very, very desperate. <clears throat> and I have to get laughs out here. As a professional comedian, I have to come out here and I have to win and I have to get laughs. I'm sorry to have to resort to this, but it's the only thing I could think of. Let's go. Oh, much bigger than that. Bigger. Now a big one. Okay, now a little applause, okay? All right. Okay. Now, now just one little standing ovation for Steve, okay? I just have a list, I just have a list now of three demands. A hundred thousand in cash, getaway car, and I want the letter M stricken from the English language. See, I figure, I figure if I make one crazy demand, that way if I get caught I can plead insanity. <laughs> Getaway car. <laughs> okay. Well, we have a fantastic show. Welcome, Doc. Welcome, Ed. Starring on the show tonight, Burt Reynolds. Um, the only and one Cheryl Ladd, Steve Landisberg. Steve Landisberg, John McEwen, and Kara Zee will be here tonight. We'll be right back. Thank you. Stay tuned, okay? We'll be back in a minute. It's the Tonight Show. Good to see you, guys. Good to see you. A great opening. You got the plunger We're right going to keep this out here in case something doesn't work and the audience doesn't laugh. All right. You're still hooked up. That means if I go, they go too. I say, yeah, and I go too. I have a couple of things I must announce, if you don't mind. Okay. First, you'll like a couple of them. Yeah. The first one is a welcome. Uh, congratulations to a KERO for 25 years of dedicated service to Bakersfield and the Golden Empire. Looking forward to the golden anniversary year. Get a load of this. 2003. 
Does that scare you when you hear that? They're preparing... 2003, uh, it's coming. And they've been on the radio since then for yeah. 2003 or... Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> see, no, see they've been on 25 years. It's a television station that carries on oh, show, K-E-R-O? Right? K-E-R-O. I thought, K-E-R-O. That, thought that was a syrup. Well, it's like it's similar to Cairo, yes. <laughs> but it's their 50th anniversary. will be 2003. And you will be. I don't understand it, but that's okay. Okay. Well, they will all, they'll See, know. See, I don't have to understand as long as I get As long as you have that, you know. Deal. Listen, but this is important to you. You're going to be, if you live through tonight, mm-hmm. Monday, October 2nd, you'll be in Lexington, Kentucky. Looking forward to that. Then on Tuesday, October 3rd, you'll be in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're looking forward to that. And Thursday, October 5th, the University of Maryland. Are you looking forward to that? <laughs> yes, I'm looking okay. forward to that. <laughs> oh, and here is your latest album. Steve oh, Martin, yeah. a wild and crazy guy. Have you That's, seen that? That's one side. Side two. Now that that photo right there is taken right off the Tonight Show TV screen. How do you like that? That was it when you did King, King Tut. Beautiful. Right but inside, friends, what do you see? This. Are you ready? Is the world ready for this? Whoa! Oh. Now there he is, a wild and crazy guy. You know, this album is not out yet. It'll be out in about three weeks on uh, October 13th. That's apparent because there's nothing in here. You know... <laughs> oh, no, that's just a little uh, merchandising trick. They buy the cover and then they go back and yeah, make buy the, the record. All right. Um, you know, I thought of a funny idea. That would be... More when this likely, album yeah. comes out, how many people are watching? Probably 10 million? 10 million, yes. 10, 10 million? 10. It'd be funny if, uh, when that album came out, if every one of the people watching went out and bought one. Actually bought one. Yeah. Actually bought the Wouldn't album. Wouldn't that surprise the record company think, you know, this is unbelievable. Yeah, and then, sell, yeah. Of course. You know, I... You know, I would be grateful forever, of course. Oh, sure. Well, I think it's the least American can do. Yeah, well, I would often call the United States from my island. Um, <laughs> and remember the people. <laughs> Get out there, America. It'll be out in three weeks. It's a great show tonight, don't you think? With great, what a lineup. You got everything and, uh, covered. Well, let's not waste any more time. No, then. let's do it. You look great. <laughs> That's wasting time. Uh, my first guest um, has just uh, had the distinction of being voted the photo play male star of the year. Um, Cheryl Ann. Nah, and uh, <laughs> and uh, he's got two. Uh, Really good pictures out now. Hooper and the end, and he's an actor, director, and all around romancer. Heck of a nice guy. Burt Reynolds, bring him up. Congratulate you on the uh, the award at the photo play, right? Yeah. And you had me come down and uh, give it to you, which I appreciated. And uh, also, you were the sexiest. Uh, they voted the sexiest male. <laughs> I was for a minute there. Anyway. <laughs> Ever since uh, I like that, it's very nice. Are you uh, trying to imitate somebody with that? Well, I was. Because I kind of hate, I hate to see guys try to imitate other guys. <laughs> well, I was wondering if that bothers you and you see people come out and... You told me that people come to your door and they, they look like you and they're going, Hey, look at me, I look like you. Well, they, they have a mustache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they're girls. <laughs> hey, look! Does and, it bother you when people... Imitate you. It gives me a little P.O. Mm-hmm. Which is and what does that stand that's for? That's a service P-O'd. expression. Yeah. It's a service expression that we used in the army. I never did know what that means. Well, let's let's take some votes with the audience and find out what exactly what that means. Let's do that. Write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. This let's, is live. Is, that, by is the way. that live? Of course. I don't do any phony stuff. I, I don't. I can't stand it when people do uh, phony. Are you sure it's live? Oh yeah. Please don't mess around unless. <laughs> huh? The uh, one question I wanted to ask you is, did it bother you at the Photo Play Awards? And I introduced you, and I did do some, you know, jokes about your career. And um, 
I just wondered if that bothered you at all. Um, you know, it's when I, somebody does make light of. Yeah, well, it, it, it didn't bother me because, uh, then because I, you know, I, uh, I couldn't get my hands on you. You know, <laughs> you did it and then you, you moved away from me and you did kind of cute stuff. Yeah. You did a lot of cute things. Yeah. And I put down, put down humor. Well. with The Tonight Show in just a moment. <laughs> okay. You know the... Uh, very uncomfortable having a mustache. Yeah. The, uh, the photo play award that uh, yeah. coveted metal do dad. dad. Um, <laughs> where do you where do you hang that? Your house is so beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Where do you put all your words? You really don't have much memory. On the front of the car. <laughs> Got it right on the car there. That's nice. And they, do they give you the same award for the sexiest male? I didn't I didn't uh, take that one the other night. I was wondering I was where you were going to put that. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Probably find some place to. Did you blow yours off, by the way? <laughs> uh, no, I I didn't bring the regular one with me there. Oh, good. <laughs> a spare. Uh, a spare? Did blow my hair off. Though. Yes, that's all right. Looks good. And uh, this is very uncomfortable to wear this. I, I, don't, I don't mind mind, actually. How long have you had that? Since 1973. Oh. Yeah. You didn't have one before that. Did you find people like you better with it or without it? I, I don't know. I find, uh, yeah, I think they like me better with it. I don't know. I don't know. I think, huh? How many, how many like would think they'd like him better without it? See? That's not really, that's not a fair, accurate judge, though, because they have seen you with it, and they really haven't seen you without it. So. Well, what do you want me to do? I mean, I can't. Take it off! Take it off! A wild and crazy guy, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're that wild and crazy. Okay. So, um... I'll get it. I'll get it. Talk to the funny would be. Oh no. Dum, da, da, dum, da, da. He's doing it. He's actually doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. <laughs> this is really fun. That takes a while. Huh? Well, actually, it's good because it's getting the hair out of my nose, too. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to hold the mirror? Yeah, what do you think? Sure. Okay, now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Am I? <laughs> position for the test. I think so. I think so. How many people like him with the mustache? And then without the mustache. Okay. This is a hell of a time to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd stick with the mustache, Bert. <laughs> Here, maybe you can... Huh? Here, just kind of dangle that off. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting look, though, because you can kind of... 
You know, you can kind of go the one way. One way, you can go the other way. This is you. <laughs> you really I, do. I feel kind of young, and on the other hand, I feel kind of old. You know what I mean? Well, for that, Bert, I... Huh? I have to give you the Wild and Crazy Guy Award. <laughs> The, the arrow must pass onto different hands, and someday I'll be back, though. I'll be back to win it back from you. Yeah. Some other kind of wild and crazy stunt. I think I'll wear it. Here. Okay. Now, you just go ahead and go ahead with the interview. I'll just... Okay. Uh, Seriously, Bert. Sure. Um, <laughs> when you were performing Hamlet back in 1963... Uh, yeah. Your performances were so... Delicate. So delicate and... Yeah. and, and uh, Extraordinary. It was, it was between Hamlet and Smoking the Bandit, mm -hmm. two things that I wanted to do most in life. Yeah. And I went with the kind of gator. I went with that. And the kind of gear jamming, car jamming picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And jamming. Will you be doing, uh, what will you be doing in the future? Are you going to do Hamlet or? Yeah, but in a car going 135 miles. <laughs> in the south. <laughs> Hamlet. That was nice of you to point out all the, he, he's pointed out all the wonderful different variety of roles that I played the other night. <laughs> Tell them how the nice photo. you did that. No, that was the photo player. Wasn't That's it? all right, you can say it. They'll never watch the show. <laughs> it's opposite the night show. Let's, let's right. spill all the jokes now. <laughs> um, I can't even remember. It was, yeah. uh, it was, per, it was a really oh, yeah. well-planned oh, okay. show, though, because they have it on it. They had the photo play awards on at 11.30 at night when all of the readers have gone to bed at eight. <laughs> Perfectly timed and well planned. You did a great thing when you, you, you pulled out the magazine, the photo play magazine. It was so, you said he was so proud to be in the magazine, and then he read off some of the ads in the back. Yeah, they are strange ads. Mm -hmm. Watch your bus grow before your eyes. <laughs> I think that's a silly ad. I mean, it would be dumb if your eyes grew before your bus. <laughs> You'd have huge bulging eyes and a flat chest. It's amazing how silly you feel with this thing on. <laughs> and crazy. I feel crazy with this thing on. I wish I had a balloon. What's it like to, to, uh, do girls ever complain about kissing you with, with the mustache or? No, and I, some people like, like that feeling. Mm. I wouldn't think they'd like it, I just didn't. <laughs> Well, that was really just... <laughs> you have an idea how we can get rid of the other half of your mustache. Oh, yes. I do have to take it off. It's a lot of these big stars in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do guys in, oh, you want to save those? Yeah. We can sell that and we can make some money off this. <laughs> we'll put this right in here and then we'll split them up later. Yeah. Do you ever get challenged by guys in bars? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Arm rest. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> no. I think tonight I pretty well dispelled that whole thing. You give a guy a kiss right on the mouth on national television, you're not going to get challenged too much. You know? No. It's, not it's kind of an interesting kiss, though. You know, I've never done that before. Really? No. Do it again. No. <laughs> wasn't that interesting. <laughs> that interesting. Now, we've been around women, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when I go out 
like to. <laughs> the swinging singles bar after this, we'll just. Yeah, have... I'd like to do that. Do you go to singles bars? No. Never? You've never been to one? No. I don't dance or. Or anything like that. I'm huh? very. I'm a dull guy. Oh, we could go to one. I know I know one single bar. Yeah? Yeah. What town's it in? Pacoima. Pacoima? Yeah. You know, I often uh, wondered what, what happened. You know those, on Ventura Boulevard, they have the adult motels. Yeah. And, you're, and they have X-rated movies on the TV. And I wonder if a guy driving in from out of state with a trailer and everything and was looking for a motel. Yeah. And those were the only places that had rooms and he didn't know. And yeah. How funny it would be <laughs> if he turned on. Yeah. You know what I did one night? I was in a hotel and I wanted to watch, you know, I mean, I wanted to watch one of the racing movies. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want them to know that it was me, you know, because I, you know, didn't want them to know that I was lonely and alone and wanted to watch the movie. <laughs> so. I called down and I, s I figured, uh, I said, uh, hello, this is suite 32B. And the girl said, Mr. Reynolds, how you doing? How's it going? I said, put on Heidi, will you? <laughs> Got Heidi down there or a sound of music? That is I, couldn't, I couldn't put it on because yeah. they know you right away. Also, I went to buy one of those, you know, those, those shops they have on, they have a shop on, uh, since you know that one, that yeah. funny shop that's... <laughs> You know that. Yeah. And I went to buy a crazy gift for uh, Dom DeLuise. You remember? You were there. Ed was there at the party. It's called, uh, well, anyway, you plug it in your cigarette lighter. <laughs> and uh, that's what it felt like tonight, sitting yeah. here when you yeah. plunge the. Well, anyway, you, you plug this in your, your cigarette lighter. And it just kind of hums along, this thing. Right. And uh, I went into place. <laughs> I went in the place and I didn't want them to know, you know, that I was in there, first of all. It was kind of, you know, embarrassing. Yeah. So, but I figured, what the hell, nobody would, you know, just kind of slip in there and get me the, you know, thing is plugging the cigarette lighter. And I walked in the door and the guy went, hey, Bert, how's it going? <laughs> I went, excuse me, have you got the, you know, it's a gag, it's a gag yeah. gift, you know. He went, <laughs> and <everybody's> coming, <laughs> I got your gag guy. So he took me over to, and there was a huge glass you know, thing full of very strange things. Mm -hmm. And uh, cost, you know, that thing costs uh, $62 or something. Something like that. 62 okay. Right on the... Right on. <laughs> and I gave it to Dom. I, I don't know how good it is, but he drove past his house for three hours. <laughs> Did they have you come over and uh, sign magazines? I had to sign those things. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back with more of the Strange Tonight Show in just a minute. Stay tuned.